Six Bottle Bourbon Challenge. Welcome to Junior's Bourbon Hall. Tonight we're going to discuss the number of bottles of bourbon you should have in your house to make it a good bourbon bar. So I'm coming up with six. I've heard three. I've heard four. I've heard five. In my opinion, six is the right number. So let's get started. Three categories I am making are mixers and inexpensive daily drinkers. We're going to have the mid to expensive. That's the neat pours once a week, things you really want to savor and uh, do for those, uh, those nice special occasions for yourself. And then finally, the impressive bottle that, you know, you got that one special friend that comes over. You want to impress them with something in your collection. This is the bottle you pull out and share. Um, and then we're going to do a little bonus category, the barrel proof, what my favorite barrel proof is. That's why I'm coming up with six bottles. Um, so let's get started. So the first one is my basic benchmark number eight. That uh, inexpensive, you see I buy the 175. It's harder to get here in Wisconsin, but when I can get it, I buy a big bottle of it because it's a great daily sipper. I love mixing it in some of my sours, my you know bourbon and Cokes, bourbon and sevens, things like that. Um, but I can also take it, throw a rock in there and enjoy sipping it if I really want to. The next one, and this is 80 proof. The next one is the Old Forester 86. This one around here, I can get any day of the week. Relatively inexpensive, good basic bottle. Everyone should enjoy that for you. And as it's stated, it's 86 proof. So now you got a couple different proofs in your cupboard to, to you know, beginner, doesn't really like bourbon, start with the 80. Someone that, you know, wants to try something else, go with 86. And then my final bottle in this category is the Evan Williams Bottle and Bond 100 Proof. This one, I love making old fashions out of on Friday nights, goes well with a fish fry, and it's relatively inexpensive, so it can be a daily drinker. So that's my first category. Now the next category, mid to expensive. These are the bottles that, you know, you could drink neat, you could have on the football game, you might have one out on the patio with a cigar, things like that. So the first one to me is Old Forester 1920. This is a great bottle. It's 115 proof. You can find it most days, even here in Wisconsin. It's always on the shelves. It's the pre uh, prohibition style. Um, so it's a great sipper. I love this with a cigar on the patio. Nice and neat. This cigar, I'm in heaven. And every time I have a, some friends over, they flock to this bottle. Then the next one is the anniversary edition, select edition, single barrel edition, something like that, that you can't always get that one bottle, but you really enjoy it. So for me, it's the J. Henry 2020. Um, that's the one I've been sipping on lately. Um, so again, it's a great once in a while uh, bourbon. You can share it with your friends, uh, but you're all, you might run out of it, you can't find it again, so you do want to savor it and, and let it last for a while. Then the final one is the one to impress. You know, you got that special friend over who really enjoys bourbon and you want to say, hey, look what I got. To me, that is E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. This is an allocated bourbon here in Wisconsin. Hard for me to find, but when I do, I pick up a bottle and then when I have friends over, I'm like, hey, you guys really like bourbon. Let's try this one. It's the E.H. Single Barrel, um, E.H. Taylor Single Barrel. So those are my five, six bottles that I really think someone should have. Again, I start with three down here in the first section just because I like the three different proofs. Again, you're not tying up a lot of money, but great all around every day. So I'm Junior. Appreciate you listening. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Oh, yeah. One more, the barrel proof. So to me, if you want to go to the seventh bottle and you really enjoy this and you want to have that one last bottle to say, whew, this is something out of the ordinary. For me, it's a barrel proof bourbon and that is Elijah Craig barrel proof. Again, 124 proof, I believe this one is. Yep, 124.4 from Elijah Craig. I really enjoy that one. I love putting a rock in there, cuts down the proof just a bit, but it's a great tasting bourbon on those 
where on those special occasions, those days when you're like, yep, hard day in, I need a need something with a little more pop. That's the bottle. So there's my seven bottles. Let me know what you think. Let me know your seven bottles or five bottles, whatever you think would be make a great bourbon bar. Again, Junior, thanks for listening. Have a great night.